We need to consider how to effectively deliver visual and verbal information in a way that allows for active cognitive processing while not overloading our learners. And this is where Richard Mayer's research around the theory of multimedia learning comes in to guide us on how to design digital learning content that the brain can process effectively. His first overarching principle of multimedia learning states that we learn best with a combination of visuals, they might be pictures, animations, text and videos, and verbal information, rather than just words alone. This principle is sort of the foundation of all of May's principles in that ultimately images and words are more effective than words alone. Now I'm going to go through some of the principles related to this multimedia principle and I fear I might be about to overload you with information and terminology, essentially breaking many of his principles, but I'll try my best. I won't cover them all and I'll provide an additional infographic that will go into more detail on each of these. So here goes. The modality principle states that if you're speaking in the video or presentation, try to limit the text on screen and instead reinforce your words with appropriate images. The redundancy principle kind of takes the last point further and states that we learn best with narration and graphics as opposed to narration, graphics and text. So as a general rule, if you're speaking it, there's no need to write it on the slides as well as it's redundant. The coherence principle aims to remove unnecessary or distracting material, basically cutting out the clutter, delivering all the information that the learner needs at that moment in time to help with understanding. Your video or presentation is not a revision guide. If you want to provide additional resources, you can, but not in the delivery of the information. So remove the fluff. The signaling principle advises you to specifically show the learner exactly what to pay attention to on the screen. Maybe important words are highlighted or arrows point to important information. In videos, you can also zoom into things to highlight them. The spatial contiguity principle is about the actual space in between your text and visuals on the screen. Keep related images and text physically together to show their relationship. The temporal contiguity principle is about keeping audio narrative in sync with the images being shown. Keeping audio narrative in sync with the images being shown. The segmenting principle states that we learn best when information is presented in segments or chunks rather than one long continuous stream. Mayer found that when learners have control of the amount and pace of their learning, they perform better in assessments. The image principle states that if there's important information to be shared, then relevant visuals on the screen will be more effective than just the talking head of the educator. The voice principle states that we learn best from a human voice rather than a computer generated voice, as it's more authentic and relatable. And finally, the personalization principle advises that your message should be simple and casual to allow learners to feel more comfortable. Overly complicated language or terminology should be avoided. Okay, so how many of these principles are you already adopting in your information delivery? There does seem to be a lot of overlap in some of the principles. So when it comes to applying these in the creation of educational videos, I think the summary is to have a strong, clear, concise narrative and then reinforce that narrative with simple, relevant images to effectively deliver the message. 